are also focusing on the real opportunity that we have in the future. This continent is going to be home to a quarter of the world's population by 2050. This is the continent that has renewable energy resources. This is the continent that has two-thirds of the world's arable, uh, uncultivated land. This is the youngest continent. So we have real assets that has the potential to make Africa central to what happens globally going into the future. And that is why integration is front and center, left and right, in us going forward. Um, uh, that's Although right. data speaks a different language, data shows that investments in our region are not as risky as they are being profiled. So in fact, this profiling of our region as a risky destination is a conspiracy by people. And I saw, I saw some of them about a week ago, two weeks ago. They were trying to profile us, the, 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 the credit rating uh, agencies. I think they are the new tools of colonialism, if I may say. Because data speak a different language from the risk we are being profiled. And as a result, you, we are all in now in this space, and it's almost a consensus that the people, the rest of us in this region, we pay anywhere between four and eight times more for resources, for development, for investment, put in place infrastructure than others, than our brothers and sisters in the global north. And we have no problem with our brothers and sisters in the global north accessing finances uh, lower than us. The question we are asking ourselves is that why are we not getting the same treatment? Why are we being profiled negatively when facts and data show something different? So this is the conversation we want to have. And it is a foregone conclusion today that the system we have is not working. It is not working. It can do better. And that's why we are saying there is need for reform of the international financial system. <laughs> to do three things. Reform to speak to time. How long does it take? It takes minimum 18, 24 months. You know, some of the interventions don't have that kind of gestation period doesn't have that time of time number one number two national institution. but we are saying there has need to be a conversation we need a conversation that makes all of us winners and what we are saying is in the reform of these institutions we are not being reckless what we are saying is let us have a fairer international financial system that doesn't price the rest of us into debt into default, into a situation where it becomes impossible. I mean, let me just ask us seated here. If one person is paying eight times more than the other, isn't that person eight, paying eight times set up to fail from the beginning? In fact, it would be a miracle if you don't default. In fact, I think some people are asking themselves, why have these people not defaulted? And it is the same reason, for example, why those Moody's people, yeah, the, the, the credit trading agencies, were really pushing that, you know, Kenya is in very serious situation. Until we told them, if you continue profiling us negatively, we will pay off this debt and see what you're, and see what you're going to do. Because they were making it look like we are, we, we are unable to pay. We're telling them we want to pay. In fact, we want to pay before it's due. And they wanted to tell us, if you pay before it's due, it amounts to uh, a default. What kind of nonsense is that? I mean, if you pay your debt early, how does it become a default? It's madness, isn't it? 
but you know, we are not conforming to what their expectations. So they are wondering, you are paying 8% more, why are you not defaulting? Why do you want to pay early? You know, this is, this is the unfortunate conversation we want to have. And that's why, just to conclude, we're saying we want a fairer system that doesn't mistreat other people. We want a fairer system that we pay whatever others are paying. And good people asking for a fairer system, saying that we want to pay the same interest others are paying, is not asking for too much. It is not breaking the system. It is, it is not unreasonable. I mean, by all accounts, it cannot be unreasonable. We're all saying, let's pay what others are paying. And, and let's get the scale that can help us achieve what we want. And let us accelerate so that we can all move at the same, at the same pace.